So this beautiful instrument that you see over here is a toll. This double-sided barrel drum has been known among masses to make anyone dance to its beats. So toll is usually played as an accompanying instrument in regional music forms, be it any festival, occasion, family gathering, or any special celebration. Without toll, everything is said to be incomplete. So let me just continue ahead by first showing you the real power and grace of this instrument. instrument has been known to be a gift of Allah or God to the people to dance and rejoice upon his blessings. Since then, the first beat is always attributed in the name of God with the traditional beat of Tamal. Tamal, did that make you feel connected? The beat which I played right now was Tamal, was to take you to the next level of the world of Tol. So the beats of toll have no end, just like any other musical instrument. It is like an ocean whose depth can never be measured. Mountains of beats and rhythms can be played with this instrument. So let me show you what more this instrument can do. This beat was Luddi, which is usually played to express the feeling when an unexpected surprise has been given to you. The joy you feel inside, the bubble of happiness that bursts inside your heart is what this beat of Luddi sounds like. Moving on to the next beat, what do you do when you're happy high? You dance? You just want to throw out all your feelings at once. So this next beat, Pangra, is what will literally make you feel the joy of being high. So this feeling on toll would be somewhat like this. Moving on to the next beat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Moving on to the next beat, Chumar, which is a slow, sweet and a rather soothing beat which can make twinks to it. Let's see, do you swing along? relates to the history of Mirza Jutt who had a similar story like Romeo and Juliet, we all know that. So the words which were sung along with this beat were done in the name of Mirza Jutt and that was how the beat got its name. So let's listen to Mirza. I can 
very vividly recall the first pull towards this instrument. It so happened that one of my cousin brothers just gave a casual toll performance in a school function and I popped with this question. Why can't I? Since then, toll was always seen hanging around the necks of men and that was how the society had always presumed it to be. The question left my parents amazed and surprised for a moment, but they were ready to accept me with it in the first go. And here came the first big hurdle. To search for a coach who was ready to accept this little girl as his student. Whosoever we approached rejected us with their own excuses. I'm like, come on, I'm just a curious student trying to explore this side of the world. Finally, someone jumped in to teach me a few skills. Initially, I practiced at home, but soon the practice sessions shifted to the local parks. I thought the neighbors were just the problem, but as I see now, I had to confront layers of problems from people and society. There were times when playing toll would leave my hands with blisters and blood. The long practice sessions with the coach, who on top of it tells me to play the drum even louder, would drain my entire energy. But fearlessly, I carried on with a broad smile. Since then, there was no looking back. People's acceptance, appreciation and claps motivated me and charged me with more energy to carry on. Believe me guys, that one silly question that popped up in my mind was totally worth it. Never suppress those little voices in your mind. Never settle for less. Keep marching, keep marching, just like I did, for the love of toll.